Hola. Hola. Bienvenidos a Light Speed Spanish. Bienvenidos. Today we have a suggestion from Tom Worrell. Hola, Hola Tom. Tom. And Tom is asking us about a very unusual Spanish structure. Unusual. And unusual. Okay. This is in <laughs> this is in English. Okay. For early intermediate. Early intermediate. Okay. Yeah. Maybe we can have some things in Spanish. You know, they like it. It's almost certain that we're going to have some yeah. things in uh, Spanish, yeah. Cynthia, given, <laughs> given the fact that we are teaching Spanish. We'll do our best to stick some Spanish yeah, in there. It's just a few words, yeah. Yeah. Okay, Hola. entonces nos vemos <laughs> en la segunda parte. Vale, Cynthia. Vale, Gordon. Tom, Tom D uh, is saying uh, when, in English, just a quick one, as it's really bugging me. Is the following structure explained among any of your resources? Well, yes, it is, but we're going to explain it again. Se te ve feliz. Se te ve feliz. Se te ve feliz. Se te ve, Se te ve muy bien. Se te ve muy guapa. Mm -hmm. Se te ve contenta. Se te ve... Yeah. yeah. <laughs> so... First of all, let's do, se te ve feliz. How are we going to translate that into English? Oh, in English, it's really easy because you would say, you look. You look happy. <laughs> you look happy. You look happy. Yeah. So, to understand this better, right? this, this is actually Whoa. the mm -hmm. victim structure. Is it? It's kind of like, the, it's the feel of the victim structure, which is something's happening to you from afar yeah yeah right okay so let's take the first bit let's take the t out of that sentence and we say se ve feliz se ve feliz mm -hmm. okay what would that mean then uh, if you said se ve feliz i would think you're saying he uh, looks happy mm -hmm. or, or or she looks happy right so basically se ve feliz is just Third, uh, third person, singular, right? Yes. He, she, or it. Or it. Or it, right. yeah. Okay. So what happens is we've just got this, like, it looks happy, he looks happy, she looks happy, okay? But when we stick the T back in, it's like suddenly happiness, it is looking happy on you, basically. <laughs> The way I, I look at it is, for example, with you look happy. The easiest way would be pareces, pareces feliz. Yeah. That, which is literally you look or you seem. Yeah. Because mm -hmm. look is not to look at like this way. It would be to seem. You look happy. Pareces feliz. Pareces feliz. Okay. Uh, another way you could say I see you happy. Mm -hmm. Te veo feliz. Okay, you, I, see, happy. Te veo feliz. But when you say se te ve feliz, means that that person, it's, let's just put it that way, it's exuding happiness. Exuding, yeah. And everybody can pick up on that. Yeah. 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 So se te ve feliz in general, I, it's not, I'm not talking about I'm, I'm seeing you happy or he's seeing you happy. It's just you are. Um, how would I say that in English? Exuding that. Yeah. In ge like, generally. Yeah. yeah. Okay. So everybody can see that you are happy because that's what you emanating. Exactly. Yeah. Exactly. Would that work? Ah. Uh, but it's it's uh, right. So let let's just give you another example so you can yeah. see something else with that structure because that structure comes up so much in Spanish. Okay, and we've named it the victim structure because it's something outside of your control. Okay, it's like you're so happy that you're giving it off and everybody can pick up on it, okay? But for example, if we talk about something like se te ha caído el libro, okay? Okay, that would be a completely different scenario. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. But it's a similar thing, which is the book has fallen. Yes, well, in, in Spanish, we don't like the blame. That's true. For anything. That's true. So we're going to blame everything else. So if if I drop a phone accidentally 
We're not going to say I dropped it. We're going to say it fell. From, from me. me. <laughs> Let's blame the phone, okay? Uh-huh. It wasn't. It was not my doing. Um, so, what was the sentence you said? So, se te ha caído el libro. Se te ha caído el libro. Yeah. Yeah. So the book has fallen from you. Mm-hmm. Yeah. For example. So that structure is basically take the T out and we can say se ha caído el libro. That means the book has fallen. Okay? So all that happens is when we when we inject a pronoun into it, we link the act, the event, with the person. So when we say se te ve feliz, basically what we're, we're saying is happiness itself. Yeah. Is seen on you. It's it's yeah. it's. Uh, you have you have an example in English. For example, when you say it slipped my mind. Yes. Okay. Uh-huh. So instead of saying I forgot, which you can. Yeah. You can say it slipped my mind. Yeah. So it's like that thing got out of my head. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Exactly. <laughs> Not my fault. The thing did it. Mm-hmm. So we can say that as well. Yeah. Um, you have an expression. Um, el el examen se me hizo eterno. Is that right? Yeah. Yeah? And that's like, the exam was eternal. Yeah, okay. That would be, in itself, that's a different thing because se me hace, or se te hace, se nos hace, you change that pronoun, but you, the se and hace stays the same. Se me hace, it's, it seems to me. Yes. For example, se me, el concierto se me hizo muy largo. So the concert felt or seemed... Yeah long for me yeah yeah but the, se me hace. the the structure right we're talking about third person the concert it we're talking yes. about an it right when we say se te ha caído el, el libro it has fallen or, or they i mean it can be both yeah um it's and it's the same with se ve feliz it seems happy on you like you know you're carrying with you it's not not your doing it's around you it's yeah. a, you know it's coming off you yeah so it's all of this something is happening to you you're not doing it right that's the feel of this this victim structure something's happening to you the exam is seeming of eternal for me to me i'm the victim in this so it's it's like a, although it's never never always negative the victim structure can be positive se te ve feliz oh yeah or or i can say for example ¿Cómo se me ve? Mm-hmm. ¿Cómo se me ve? I could say, ¿Cómo parezco? How do I seem? Yeah. Okay. How do I seem? ¿Cómo parezco? O, ¿Cómo se me ve? Which would be something like, how does the world see me? Sure. It, like, I'm saying the world. But like, sure. instead of asking you directly, how do you see me? Yeah. Okay. Uh, it's, it's like, how do I seem? Yeah. <laughs> In general. How do I seem? The way that the way that you could, if you wanted to, to to translate that into an English that might be a bit more, basically, is what this is what happens with the structure. Rather than saying "How do you see me?", you could say "How does one see me?" Okay, one being general. <laughs> general. Yeah. yeah. How does Not one? The queen of oh, when you se te ve muy muy feliz, one sees you very happy. Yeah. Yeah. This is this like displacement of it's not I'm seeing you one. You know the universe, or whatever you want to call yeah. it. So that 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 structure, although we don't have it very much in English, is very very popular here. Yeah, very popular. I suppose it, it gives you an extra option um, when you want to ask a question or when you want to say something, and you don't want to directly say you do this or I. You can just place it in the world. Yeah. The world or this in general. So One in we're general. not we're not involved. Yeah? Yeah. Because you can I mean you can do that in many, many ways. It's not that's not the only way you can do yeah. that. Yeah. So the original sentence was Se te ve bien. Se te ve feliz. Se te ve feliz. So I could say Te veo feliz. I see you happy, but now I'm involved because I'm yeah. the one seeing you. Yeah. Maybe nobody else sees you happy, but I see you happy. But if I say se te ve feliz, it means that I, I'm telling you that everybody's going to see you happy because that's what you look. Yeah. So it's not just me. It's everybody else. Yeah. 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 So they were feliz. Exactly. Yeah. Exactly. Now, look, that that structure is 
is a structure that that's used, but you, there are lots of ways around it, as Cynthia said. So don't yeah, think that I wouldn't you have to worry. Use it that I wouldn't way. worry too much about no. this structure now. There are all the ways you can say the same. You can say te veo feliz. I like pareces, that one. Pareces, pareces feliz. You seem happy. Yeah. 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 Um, yeah. No, I don't know. Um, that, m- mostly those two. Yeah, I like I like that one. Te veo because you can you, you can you know just saying uh, you look. That's how you we look. Say, you te, look. Te veo muy te bien. Veo. Ah, te veo triste. ¿Qué te pasa? Te veo triste. Yeah. So yeah. there are lots of this te veo. Yeah. And obviously you can change the, the pronoun into uh, la veo, lo veo, os veo, yeah. you know, whatever, yeah. whoever you want to talk about, who, you, who you're seeing. You look, you all look, she looks. See? Yeah. So I, I, would, I would leave the se for a little bit later on. Yeah. But understand that, that when you see it, Translate it in your head as in one sees you. Yes, that, that would be way. the idea. Yeah. The idea would be. Yeah. Uh, it's a. It's it, a one. Oh, oh, yeah. A An observation of a one. <laughs> yeah. So you think about you, but you've got to be the queen. <laughs> That's what I said. Before. One sees you very happy. <laughs> How is one? <laughs> <laughs> okay. Pues eso es todo. Muchas gracias, Tom, por gracias, la pregunta. Tom. And now. A word from our sponsor. What accent are you doing today, honey? Scottish, Irish, Australian, American, well, American, um, Irish. No, I'm not doing any accent Um, today. I'm not doing any accent because... From London. Yeah. You like that? We watched the um, we watched the uh, what's his name that that comic who's really um, raw edge sometimes uh, who who was talking about the the words specific to the northeast. If you learn these words, you can speak. Germany. Oh, uh, Carr. What's his name? Jimmy Carr. Uh, Jimmy Carr. Oh my god. And he god, was Jimmy saying Carr. to learn Jody, all you need are certain words like a roller coaster. Roller coaster Kawasaki. Kawasaki. <laughs> um, and umpa lumpa. Umpa lumpa. Yeah. yeah. Umpa-lumpa. And you're saying. Uh, Roller coaster, <laughs> Kawasaki, Umba Lumba. It was very, I mean, yeah, absolutely perfect words for the northeast of England. It's true, though. The Kawasaki <laughs> is, is true. I've heard that before. Yeah. <laughs> okay, so um, uh, we have, after talking about it for so long, finally we finished the um, subjunctive course for the Bien, beginners. Gordon, bien. Por, Muy bien. Ya te digo, por Dios. Me ha costado... Sudor y lágrimas. Joder. Iba a decir medio huevo, pero bueno. Mejor sudor y lágrimas. So, the beginner's course for subjunctive is done. Ok. It's... O dices un huevo, o, o es que medio huevo suena muy mal. Bueno. Suena como rarísimo. <risa> Es que solo tengo dos, no quiero huevo. repartir huevos por, por lo que Sudor y lágrimas. <laughs> ok, so, um, the course is, is available now. Sangre, sudor y lágrimas. Ajá, uh-huh. blood, y sweat bemo. and tears, y yeah. Bemo. We said blood, sweat and tears. So, the course is available. You, all you have to do is go to our website. Sure, but I explain why it is that you should start early. Even if you just get a, a minimal grasp of it, start early. Because if you leave it too late, you're in bad habits, and then you try and get rid of those bad habits. How many bad habits have you got that you can't get rid of, and you've got to do them when nobody's looking? <laughs> That's because we can't get rid of them once we've installed them, unless unless you get some help. So install good habits right at the beginning all right so the course is there it's available and it's a 10-part uh, video course with lots of homework and lots of extra help yeah okay muy bien gordon pues muy bien <laughs> por fin lo he terminado vale chicos eso es todo nos vamos y nos vemos adiós adiós <laughs>